for the last 150 years. The modern science has contributed a lot for the development of our society, knowledge, physical and psychological comfort of human beings. But the one and a half centuries of modern science development has also contributed many negatives. Very recent discoveries, as you may be knowing, in the medical system we have got nearly 650 medicines, modern medicines. 80% of those medicines are known to have very serious side effects. And 20% of those medicines were thought that it's least carrying least side effect negatives. Now last year, the Saridone and Asin and Aspro, the constituent of that, scientists were analyzing and they found that when it's absolutely free from side effects. Till last year they were believing that 100% free from side effect. But last year they found that the side effect of Ceridon and Aspro will be coming out after 15 years. The negative deleterious effect of the, this component will be coming out after 15 years. So world over people are thinking to integrate all the positives of the modern science plus the positives of the heritage science so as to minimize the side effect of the modern science so as to reduce the deleterious effect of the modern science that is the reason why right from 1992 or even i can say from 1990 onwards people started looking back when you are stretching your hand 180 degree in front of you you have got the knowledge accumulated with the modern science behind you 180 degrees there that's the knowledge accumulated for the last many millennia in india we have got that knowledge fully documented explained in sanskrit and other languages so you may be knowing pretty well much better than me that last year 2002 Germany has patented 2,850 Indian items. Germany alone in one year, 2,850 items. America is said that they have patented 1.7 times of this number. Almost equal patents were filed by UK from Indian knowledge. All this, what I'm telling is from Indian knowledge. So I used to tell to my audience always, just to think, why those developed countries have patented Indian-based knowledge? Perhaps they are realizing that there is a bundle of knowledge, treasury of knowledge available in India which may be of use today or tomorrow for the society, directly or indirectly. That may be the reason why they are pretending it. But whenever I talk, I always used to give the precaution. Don't say that everything was in India. No. Every type of knowledge was not in India. Don't say that nothing was in India. That is also wrong. In between, there is something. Also, don't say that zero is discovered by Indians. Aitagoras theorem is discovered by Indians. Decimal place is discovered by Indians. These are all belittling Indian, Indians altogether. Much more than that we have discovered. So, saying that our contribution is zero, saying that our contribution is infinity, saying that our contribution is one or two or three items, all the three are wrong. And then, where do we stand? 
in the field of mathematics, in the field of astronomy, in the field of metallurgy, in the field of health science, in the field of management science, we have got lot many knowledge and immeasurable knowledge. If somebody says that, unfortunately, these are all not documented, that is also wrong. These are all systematically documented. The printed textbooks with English translation is available. That is the most important part of it. Many of the books which can cost now 500, 600 rupees, it is priced only 20, 25, 30 rupees. It's available now. In India, not also. So, the subject wise, learning, teaching, and propagating Indian scientific heritage, what these students can do, that is the topic. One most important thing, very systematically, with an unbiased approach, every student should learn it. Just a few examples. Arya Bhatiya, one of the best book available. The book is available outside also. We have translated all the English versions available in audio cassettes, books, CDs, VCDs, and like that. None of these cassettes and books has got copyright. You can take any number of copy. You can sell it. With the profit, you can construct a house. I will come forward inaugurating that. So, see that. Uh, knowledge is available here and Aryabhatiya, one disadvantage it has got. If a student starts learning Aryabhatiya, the first thing required, you should know Aryabhatiya number system. If you do not know Aryabhatiya number system, you cannot understand that. But for learning Aryabhatiya number system, you need hardly 10 minutes, not more than that. So within 10 minutes you can learn Aryabhatiya number system. Ka is 1, Ka is 2, Ga is 3, Ga is 4, Nga is 5, Cha 6, up to Ma, 1 to 25. First part is over. So Ka to Ma, 1 to 25 number. And Ya is 30, Ra is 40, La is 50, and up to Sha, 80. So Ka is 1. If you are putting ikarab, key, into 100. If you are putting ukarab, ku, into 10,000. If you are putting rikarab, kr, into 10 lakh. Closed. Add all these things, Aryabhatiya number system is learned by you. Now, why you have to learn Aryabhatiya number system? In Aryabhatiya, Exactly 1040 years before Galileo, before Copernicus, before Tycho Brahe, before Kelvin, Aryabhata has told that Mrit Jala Shighi Vayumayo Bhugola Sarvato Vritta. Mrit Soil Jala Vayumayo Shighi Fire. Bhugola, the spherical earth Sarvato Vritta. 1,000 years before Copernicus and Galileo, Aryabhata has mentioned the spherical shape of earth. But the credit has gone to Galileo. And not only that, Aryabhata has told Nila Bhuvyasa. The diameter of earth is 1,050 yojana. Nila Bhuvyasa. But none of the Indians except nine people, they do not know what is Nila. If you do not know what is Nila, you cannot make it 1050. Nya is 10 into E, Nyi into 100, that is 1000. 10 into 1000, 10 into 100, 1000. La, I have told you, Ya 30, Ra 40, La 50. Nyi La 1050, adding together. So, Nila Bhuvyasa, the diameter of earth is 1050 yojana. Then you have to ask the question, what is one yojana? Sa Changulo Gahasto Nara. Sa is 90, Cha is 